Alright guys, let's finish up with this last 2D problem. Uh, problem F56 from uh, chapter 5. Alright, so let's, let's get started here. So here we have a crowbar from a thief trying to rob a candy store. So we have this crowbar like this. Okay. And then we're given that it makes a 30 degree angle with the horizontal. Wow, that's horrible. So this is 30. Okay, that's 30 degrees. And then we have a, a force over here. Okay, of 250 newtons. Uh, this makes a 30 degree angle with uh, this line that they give us. Okay, but then we begin to question this, right? So we know that this right here is 30. Okay, which then if we were to do this. We know that this is 60, right? Because this is a 90 degree triangle. And then this leaves us with um, 30 degrees here, okay? Because we know that this one, follow my mouse, this one is 90, so then this has to be 30. So now when we're gonna split up this 250 comp uh, Newton force, we're gonna split it up into the the x and y component using this total angle of 60 degrees, and I'll I'll put it down right now. But let's look at the reaction forces at the points of contact. So there's smooth contact. So just think about them like back in physics one, they're just normal forces. So normal force and B normal force. and A, okay, and then over here we have, and C is the only one that's off to some, to the side. And we have NC, okay. But then we know that this is 60 degrees, okay. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Okay, sorry about that. All right, uh, let's get to solving this thing. So we have all the reactions drawn out, we have the forces drawn out, and I guess we just needed our distances here, so 0.4 and 0.2, okay. And I guess one more thing we should do is just split up this force. So this is 250 uh, cosine 60. Okay. And this is 250 sine 60. Okay. So okay, so now everything's in the x and y, so now we just gotta just solve it. So f of x let's see. Oh yeah, and I forget to there's always one force I forget. So well, let's just do it anyway. So f of x is minus two hundred fifty sine sixty, okay. Then we have NC has to be split off into this component and this component. Okay, so it's going to be NC uh, cosine 60. So plus NC cosine 60 equals zero. Okay. 
And then, now we have that, let's do, um, let's do, Well, uh, this let's just solve for n. Okay, let's just solve for nc first. So nc is two fifty times sine sixty divided by cosine six cosine sixty, and then we have four hundred thirty three uh, newtons. Okay, that was pretty easy. All right, so then let's move on to the f of uh, f of y f of y equals zero and i'm going to try to speed this one up um, so we have minus 250 uh, cosine 60 uh, plus nc which we already have nc sine 60 uh, plus nb and then minus n a plus n b minus n a equals zero. So the next thing I want to do is just take a moment. I'm going to take my moment about b, okay? Um, yeah, moment about b. B or A would work just just the same. Um, so yeah, let's just do it about B. So moment about B. Okay. So we were looking for perpendicular distances. Okay, perpendicular distances. So. NC is normal to the bar, okay? So we already have this perpendicular distance for NC. So we're gonna have NC times 0.2, okay? And then it's gonna rotate it clockwise, so it's gonna be negative. Now let's look at the 250 Newton force up here. So if we do Forget about the x and y components of it. If we just look at the, the, the given force in that 30 degree angle, cosine 30, so 250 cosine 30 becomes this vector right here, okay? And that one is normal to the bar. And, I and I, it would allow us to use this whole distance of 0.6, okay? And then the 250 sine 30, okay? would be in this direction going along the bar, which wouldn't contribute any torque. Okay, so we're gonna do 250 cosine 30 times 0.6. And then which, di which direction? We'll make it rotate counterclockwise, so positive. And then last but not least is the NA. So NA has to be multiplied by this little tiny distance here of 0.5 or 0.15. Um, let's see. I didn't even consider the angles here, but let's see. This is 30, so that's gonna be 60. So if you do a geometry, that should be 60 in there. So this should be 60. So then last but not least, we have NA times the distance in order to shift that line of action. It's gonna be 0 0.15 cosine 60. And what's that? So going clockwise, so minus, okay. So then solving this will give us Na equals, and let's do this math real quick. So bringing everything to the right side, we have 433 times 0.2 minus 250 times cosine 30 times 0.6 and times negative 1 
and then divide it by 0 0.15, 0 0.15 times cosine 60. And that gives me the 577.4 Newton force for an A. Okay. So 577.4. Okay. So you guys, you guys, you guys get tripped up with my writing here. All right. So the last one is N B, and then that one's just pretty easy. So we just gotta rearrange this equation here, the middle equation, and that'll tell us that N B is actually 577.4 plus 250 times cosine 60, and then minus. 433 and then we have 327.4 newtons all right so we're done with 2d and i hope these uh these six exercises have really solidified um the concept of finding you know reactions in different uh, geometries and at different kinds of supports all right and as you can see the most common ones are going to be rollers smooth contacts and pins definitely get used to pins all right because in the trust chapter we'll be using that a lot all right guys thanks for your time appreciate it and i'll see you in the next video